Deep in the ocean, an orca pod is on the hunt. But these aren't your average orcas. These guys are organized. Marketing team, did you get those social media posts scheduled for the seal migration? Aye, aye, Captain. We even have an automated notification for all pod managers when they go live. They use Monday.com to keep their teamwork sharp, their communication clear, and their goals in sight. Monday.com. For whatever you run, even orcas, go to Monday.com to dive deeper. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Ms. Judy Gold. Do you think, because well, Elise and I had this discussion in the car yesterday, and I said that marriage not only validates your relationship in the eyes of the law, which is where, you know, I always say to people when they're like all religious about gay marriage, I say, when the law passed in New York, where did everyone go to get married? City Hall. Right. They didn't go to church. Right. They didn't no. go to temple. They didn't go to synagogue. They went to City right. Hall. Right. Everywhere, who, the, every place that passes marriage, they go to City Hall, not mm-hmm. to their pastors. Right. Mm-hmm. So I said to Elisa, you know, because we have, Elisa is a stepmother, and I said, you know, in, don't get mad at me for, we were at a family barbecue on Sunday, and I kept saying, you know, she'll never marry me. She might have asked her and asked her. And I said that, she's like, why is, what is going to change? And I said, your family's attitude about us as a couple will change. Mm-hmm. They're, it's legible. Right. Mm-hmm. It becomes readable to them. Right. And which was very, uh, it's been very interesting. They, right. You know, things that they don't understand, suddenly they have a way of understanding them. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and people have asked me, Do you, does it feel different now that you're married? And it doesn't feel different, but it does feel right. Right. And that is, and I think they, they get that. And that's, Mm -hmm. you know, it's a way that they can understand things. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's important, especially when you have children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that my ex would also, you know, be a little different knowing that we're We're married. married. Mm -hmm. How would she be a little different? I think she'd be a little more respectful. Mm Mm-hmm. I you know, know, of our, you know, you boundary. Married, married, married. Married. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I did say we would get married, did I not? Yeah, after I harassed you for two hours but that through voice, Connecticut. That voice, you should marry her. <laughs> I've been dying to. <laughs> then she goes, then get the ring. It's like, it's not about a fucking ring. <laughs> anyway, a ring. She made me get a ring. She made me get a ring after... Um, Judy, you so, proposed while we're in the ocean and you peed on me. For, no, I did yes. not pee on yes. you. Yes. I did not pee on you. It actually is ancient. It's an ancient. <laughs> so we're just, she's just Darling, I didn't pee on you. You, uh, you made up the pee on you. You made up the pee. Okay. In, Les- in Lesbos? That's how they did it. it. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. You know how the water changed colors at the Olympics? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's how it was. Unbelievable. Purple. Um, no, I just, Funny. I wanted to, cause a lot of people will say, well, why do you have to call it marriage? If it's another name, it's a different thing. Right. You and know, I always thought, well, so they don't like the word marriage. I would say, how about mango? Everyone likes yeah. mango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah, we, got man- we went and Let's got some mangoes. mangoes. Yeah. Let's get some mango. We got um, mangoed. What do you think, as a, as a person who grew up very Catholic, what do you think of the Pope? You know, uh, I started I started performing the same year Reagan was in, inaugurated, and the same mm-hmm. year that other John Paul, George Ringo, yeah. uh, got uh, inaugurated or whatever. Yeah. Um, and that was very rough. I did mm-hmm. not like that Pope. Um, mm-hmm. As much as he had this great rep. It was like, welcome back, and then we had Benny Benny the Dick. Right. Um, so, you know, I think this Pope is an improvement, but that's not saying much. An improvement over what? 
I do think that he has, he is, what I love about him is he's a Jesuit. And what's important is to a Jesuit is education and uh, helping the poor. Right. And you went to a Jesuit college. I did go to a Jesuit. Jesuit. But he does... Mind you, when I went to my Jesuit college, I'd been through all Catholic school, Mm -hmm. uh, elementary, high school. I go to my Jesuit college. It wasn't... And I thought Jesuits were Jewish priests, truly. Wow. It was Mm -hmm. a disappointment to find out. No, more Catholic. You should do 23andMe or that thing, and you can Mm. find out if you have any Jew in you. Mary you Monica Monahan Moore. <laughs> Where are we going? Where <laughs> Whatever. Um, how do you feel? Um, and I do a bit about this in my act about how I had been here for Women's Week, mm-hmm. and there were these two very young girls sitting together, and I said, oh, uh, are you guys dating? And they said, yes. And I said, oh, so you're lesbians. And she said, no, I'm queer. Mm-hmm. And I said, number one, you're welcome. And number two, (laughs) you don't get to change the name. I (laughs) cannot, it's, I feel like this generation doesn't know the struggle. Does like when, when I see young gay guys, I'm like, please wear a condom. Please wear a condom. Mm -hmm. Please be safe. Please, Mm -hmm. you know, the impact of the AIDS crisis and which I think you know, Stonewall and the AIDS crisis and Harvey Milk, <clears throat> I think those were the impetus of our movement. Mm-hmm. I think the AIDS crisis actually brought the, the lesbians and the gay men together. Absolutely. And here we are. I feel sometimes that we're going in some weird directions now with the young kids. How do you feel about mm. the gender issue being a part of the gay and lesbian issue. Well, at its best... Sexuality. I should say, you know, we fought for, you know, equal rights in our... Mm -hmm. That we love this person. Mm -hmm. We haven't fought, you know... We don't have the experience of, I'm in the wrong body. You know, I, I have, you know, gender dysphoria. Right? Yet, they are part of our struggle. Mm hmm and so it's, I think because of that, people are confused. They're like, wait, are you gay or straight? Do you think there should be some sort of delineation? Um, you know, I think that what I love about the LGBT movement at its best, when it's at its best, it's feminist. Mm-hmm. And the feminist part is the part that believes that, um, that we have to change gender. And that's really the work that I thought the feminist movement was doing. I think that's what we are doing. And, but you don't get to control it once you start. Right. And so the interpretations of gender, the mm-hmm. spectrum of gender, mm-hmm. the changing, um, the trans, you know, the transmogrification, mm-hmm. the transition. Oh, oh man. man. I might have to look it up yeah. too. Wow. Tingling. Oh, but wow. the, it just came in my pa- way. <laughs> I'm back in Lisbon. Yeah, yeah. Offshore. You know, it's so I think that I, in a way, I think that it's really wonderful what's happening because it's so the fluidity of it. It's, I am, but what I grew up in, it was either butch femme, it was right. boy, girl, you know, it was like that. And so I think that um, it's an education and it's changing. And I, what I miss and what I don't think is documented is the history of the lesbian right. movement. That's why I have to save my archives and give them to somebody. Yes. But, um, and I, I really feel, to me, we hadn't finished our work. So I thought we were just getting God. people comfortable. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I, that is spending. exactly right. it. Because yeah, right. it's like, here we are as women, mm-hmm. you know, so... You know, gay men had it easier because they're men. Right. You know, it's like, oh, I'm a guy, and this was the situation. You know, and here we are, lesbians. We're the lesser, quote unquote, mm-hmm. sex. Uh, and now it's like, wait, wait, we got to finish this, and then we'll go to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but which brings me to this new wave of feminism. Like, you look at these female comics now who believe that feminism is talking like a guy, mm-hmm. or you know what I mean. And I feel like feminism is being able to be a woman mm-hmm. and 
equally be treated equally and be as powerful and mm-hmm. and be feminine or non-feminine just be a woman just right. being a woman not being a woman acting like a guy right you know and that worries me you know that some people believe feminism is am i wrong i mean that i think feminism is about not acting like a guy or I think feminism is being believing that you are in charge. Right. And, and as a comic, you're in charge of that fucking room. That's why there's right. people are like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it's the most unfeminine, you know, uh, job, really, mm-hmm. when you think of what we were brought up being, you know, oh, quiet, docile, yeah. keep your opinion yeah. to yourself. That's feminine in mm-hmm. the old days. Mm-hmm. And being a comic and screaming and telling everyone to go fuck themselves, <laughs> which you don't do because you're very classy, is more masculine. In, but in the, I don't do it in that way. But I do right. it like I'm still a high school English teacher. But if you some right, I do it in a classy. People, yeah. I can see people understand what I have just said to them. Like right, like a very innocently go. You know, I've just invented an app, and it will tell you exactly the moment when it's the end. Of white male supremacy. (laughs) It's called Honky Gone. (laughs) It's just like, you know, it's just like stating it, just saying it. Saying the word. Uh Um, I think that what what we have to, I mean, I think we're beginning, but not at all enough, is Mm -hmm. also on the, the racism of our. Oh. LGBT mm-hmm. community. We're dealing with it some, but it's also about class. I mean, there's so mm-hmm. many, there's a way that I'm glad that we have done marriage equality so right. we can get on to other things. But for some people, it was just, I can get married and now I'm done here. You know, but I think that we it's need not. as a movement, we, there's so much. Well, that's there. what I feel like. There's no, com- there's so much complacency now, yeah. but there's also that. But isn't it interesting, the gays against gun thing? I mean, after oh, yeah. that, I mean, I could not, I couldn't, if you would, if I had said, okay, what will the next issue be? It right. Would not have it would not that. have been guns. But, and I was trying to think about it. I was talking with a friend of mine. I said, why do you think people are so, I would say, up Gun in arms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up in arms. Uh, <laughs> hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Um, she said that really, she thinks it's really that, um, how dare you invade a party space? This is our party Right, space. right, right. And that that's what Stonewall was, mm-hmm. you know, and that really was like, okay, that's it. You know, that's it. Right. We're going to fight this. Right. And we have to do everything. We have right. To- mm. Well, I, I also felt like, oh, okay, so we're going to take this on and it's going to get done. Because exactly. if you look at the AIDS crisis, exactly. who knew yeah. that within such a short period of time, you know, we were managing the, Which is the, the virus, this, managing it. This is actually the float I'm going to have right. in the parade. What? This, I'm going to do a diorama of this moment, the FDA and the CDC right. and right. changing oh, the healthcare wow. right. And then, and then uh, Reagan saying, you know, cutting money to... He didn't even say the word AIDS. For a whole eight years. Cut money. And th- I think that right there, the, the seed, and this is where the, right. the Trump voter comes from. Right. Yeah. Um, as, an, as a person who was an educator, how do you feel... Do people listen to podcasts this long? Oh yeah. Well, we'll 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 cut it in oh half. But I get yeah. I have really? a I have a the lot. Of, we're, we're in the top fifteen. Shut up. On CBS what podcast. What do people no. do? They no. work out or they and drive. They listen to us. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do they roll their eyes a little? No. Like? They write in and they're like, "Oh my god, I love Kate Clinton." Wow. Yeah. And That's then and then they'll be like, "Oh, Hennessy's not there. I miss Hennessy." And I'll be like, "But, um, you know." We would have been done with this two hours ago mm-hmm. had Hennessy be, been here because Who is of the, Hennessy? Hennessy's the co-host slash pre-op trans, um, okay. who is a he, mm-hmm. and he um, is not a they. No, not a they. I can't with the they. That's in my act now with the mm-hmm. they. they. I can't they. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just would have done the equivalent singular or plural. Singular. The they singular or they. Yeah. 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 That's what I, I, yeah. But I don't, and you know, and if I mess up, I, I change it. I don't yeah. intentionally <laughs> miss me. pronouns. Well, I didn't know you were they. They went over and took, yeah. Okay. So, and okay. you know, so, for me, they would always be, it, to me, they meant, 
you know, the zeitgeist. Because my mother would always be like, well, that's what they're wearing. I'm yeah. like, who's they? Right, who's right, them? Right. That's what they're doing now. That's what they're talking about. That's what they're eating. <laughs> that's what they're carrying. That's the p- new, p- you know, they. I'm like, who the fuck is that? That was my... Uh-huh. I interrupted. We no, I loved that. it. Okay. This podcast, really, we love to talk about the things that piss you off. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted to ask you as an educator, pre, what do you think of, um, you know, the fact that educa- that the non-educated are voting for that fucking orangutan piece of shit, mm-hmm. and the educated, and here's what I don't, this is my anomaly, is that there are, ver- like, the fact that Ted Cruz went to Harvard mm-hmm. an Ivy League school <laughs> like you would think then he would be able to be thoughtful enough to realize he's a fucking asshole lying piece of shit Have what you... do you think of these the, the non I feel like orangutan head has the uneducated mm-hmm. and that's his he's the voice of I'm your voice mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um but I think because of social media, these people, like, we work so hard to silence the voices of the hate, of hate. Mm-hmm. And then social media came out, and now all those people who believe in hate have a platform now for their, right. you know. And the Republican convention seemed to me like trolls come alive. Right. right. You know, it was just like all the people that you see on there, like, ugh, commenting on the internet, suddenly they were all there. Yeah. They were all giving speeches. It was staggering. I mean, McConnell yeah. is so, so racist. ugly. He's but he's a racist, racist, but he's so, it's like, look at you. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. You're disgusting. He's treasonous. He's yeah. traitorous. He should yeah. be in stocks on the front lawn. The fact, what about how we don't have a... This pisses me. This will kill me now. Why don't we have the fucking full Supreme Court? That's right. That's right. And, and the fact true. that this they let this get away. If it had been the other way around... Hello. And if... If... I mean, if, they, if Trump was elected... Wouldn't you think the Republicans would want right now to have a, get whoever's there right. to choose? I mean, right. like, what? Right, they don't be, want right. him to gonna, choose. It's right. going to be like Miss Slovenia. He's... It's going to be this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, I love that. You know? I mean, uh, so, oh, you know, I mean, a woman. <laughs> Yeah, really. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh I can't. Uh, I'm not going to make her a Supreme Court. Justice, because of, she, look at her ass. You, yeah. you won't love it. Yeah, you're not going to love it. If Guys, you, I'm going to give you something to look at. And you I'm sorry, Alana though. Kagan. Paul Ryan should denounce Do you think Alana Kagan's Trump. a lesbo? What is, who? Alana Kagan? Uh, I did my sources. Not so much. Really? Yeah. But not the... I don't know. I don't know. What were you going to ask? I, I was going to say that Ryan. why hasn't Paul Ryan, you know... Denounce the support because of he is a puppet of the NRA. Yeah, That's terrible. What we have. Anytime you mention his name, you have to say NRA puppet Paul Ryan. Okay. Do you think the nice. gays are gonna fucking screw over the NRA? Go. Uh, I think they've given the uh, warning. I think they've given the warning, or they've given. I don't. Th- I think people always thought. Well, first of all, that there is no NRA, right? And then there is an NRA. We cannot defeat them. Mm-hmm. But I think yes. I do think we can. It, it's like the it just. It's like the uh, Oz guy, you know, right? The little guy behind the. the right. That's all they are. Right. Um, <clears throat> so on this podcast, we discuss what pisses you off the most. Mm-hmm. As uh, I've known you for a while, and you, your anger is a very sin. controlled. It's a, it's a sin. In the Catholic Church, it is. Yeah, it's really not big. Judaism. No, you get rewarded for it. I, <laughs> if you had an emotion, you had to go to your room. Right. Welcome to Play It, a new podcast network featuring radio and TV personalities talking business, sports, tech, entertainment, and more. Play it at play. It. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Miss Judy Gold. What makes you really angry? What it's from when I was very little, it's injustice. My father, yes, I agree. My father used to do an imitation. He, no, he didn't do it when I was little, but he didn't. He would do later in life. He did an imitation that my father would do an imitation of anything is amazing, but he did an imitation of me walking up the hill to school that was just rage. And it was like 
rage, first of all, that my brothers got to do stuff mm-hmm. I wouldn't do. They got to mow the lawn, and I had to... Oh, I asked. I, tell, I insisted. Yeah. I'm not mowing the lawn. I'm not fucking doing the yeah. dishes. No, Go that, fuck yourself. That was not even a question that right. could be asked. I mean, right. it's like, this is what you do. Oh. Um, why... Is the priest wearing the dress? I once asked that very right. seriously at right. church. And why are there altar boys and no altar girls? Right. That was like bullshit crazy. Right. I remember being a little kid and going. we would go visit my grandparents in Buffalo. We were having dinner, and I snuck off to my grandfather's little bookshelves, and, it was open, and I opened a book on the Civil War to the pictures of the Holocaust. And I remember walking out and saying to the, everybody at the table, what is this? Mm-hmm. And being somehow somebody tried to describe it to me. And then that's when I was looking for the Jews. Right. I thought I was going to be taught by Jewish priests. Right. I was so excited. So it's like injustice. This injustice. Basically. Are there me. little peeps you have that, you know, look, I can't stand, um, <laughs> you know, when people, I was, we were at the airport this fucking guy is on his phone and the phone is on speaker and he's talking really loud. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I saw you with the, and I wanted to fucking take his head and bash it into the window. Not that I'm violent. Right. But it's like the people who have no consideration of their surroundings. Urgashi has to stop me from joining in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sit anywhere and answer how are you? Good. I oh, that's her. so funny. It's like, I, if it goes on, then I just, do, she's like poking me. Right. I would just enter myself into the conversation. <laughs> wow. Uh, drunken people in hotels. Oh, yes. At two in the morning. Yes, well, yes. Here's what I do, and everyone who's listening to your podcast will yeah. know I am the person that did that to them. Okay, go. They're drunken and crazy in the hall. I go and see what room they're in. Yeah. The morning when I have to get up at five to catch a plane. Right. Before I go into the shower, I call them. That is <laughs> fucking awesome. awesome. Hello, Bob. And then there's a hang up. I go take a shower. Right. Before I leave, you call, I call them, them again. again. And I Brilliant. hope they're awake Let's with a wicked headache. All day long. I love that. Thank you. It's me. That's really oh, good. I have right. a very strong, I'm not always proud of it, hotel personality. <laughs> that, do you remember when, what's his name, threw the phone? What was his name? He threw the phone at a, a woman at the desk. Oh, God. I can't remember his oh, name. Oh, yeah. Um, not Alec Baldwin. Australia. No. Australia. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Alec. Um, I love you. I love you, Alec. Did, um, Whatever. We, this is, anyway. Wait, in Australia? He's he was from an Australian Australia. actor. Yeah. Kind of, uh, Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through, Russell the, Crow. through the phone. <laughs> at the, I can, you can, I've been very close. I, I understand why he did mm-hmm. it. Those are some of my peeves. Peeves. We also ask um, everyone, because uh, I have suffered a clinical depression. Mm-hmm. Uh, I suffer from terrible anxiety. Um, but you call ADD, it a show. ADHD. You call it a show. It's hard. Yes, but mm-hmm. I also have been. We're good. It's been okay. on. Um, you know, I, I've had to take medita- medication. I do meditate, <laughs> uh, which everyone cracks up about. But aren't I a good meditator? Yes, you do. Yes, thank you. It helps. Um, but I've done a lot of work because I know she's my baby. Scored. Um, She's so scored. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's why I want to marry her. I could see. I could see why. Yeah. Luckily, oh. I have my license. <laughs> my minister. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you have married a lot of people. Oh. So, you know, her cousin is Judge Judy. I would Judy. be honored if you married her. Yeah. Your cousin is Judge Judy. Yeah, yeah, she said she, said she would uh, marry us, but that would want, be about I don't want Judy. Her, I, don't right? want to, I don't want her to marry us. You know? I don't know why you asked her. Is this that's on? okay. You asked her. <laughs> she listened to this podcast? No, she won't listen to this podcast. Your question. Um, have you been, we, we are, one of our goals here on the podcast, I don't know why I'm talking like this now, but, um, <laughs> a lot of our, our listeners, you know, are, are happy that we talk about medication and mm-hmm. stuff and mental health because, you know, there should be no, um, whatever the word is, uh, attached Addiction. to it. Um, uh, stigma. Stigma. Thank you. Stigma. I think there was a big sign on 72nd in a building, wasn't it? Stigma? Depression is not something. Oh God, 
We've been at this a long time. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. I know. Wait, wait, Judy. Oh, okay. I know. Don't do that. Okay. This is our last question. Okay, good. Okay. Are you on any meds? No, I'm not on any meds. Have you ever been on any antidepressants or anything? I was on an antidepressant. I left, I, uh, yes. I, when you left the Rosie O'Donnell show? I did. I was on antidepressants. That, that's a, that would be... Yeah. No, uh, I, no I had been on antidepressants and decided at that moment to get off them because I wasn't in a work situation that wasn't smart. I got on antidepressants when I was working, <laughs> at, I swear to God, at the Rosie O'Donnell show. No. Swear to God. No, it was actually the move. I had lived full-time in Provincetown for nine right. years and, and I then moved you went from back. here to New York and started right. working on a show. I'd been, you know, freelance, la, la, la. Yeah. Then I go and work on a TV show. And it's like, like, a, and I'm like working. Holy crap. Right. So that's it's, when I started. And then when I got off the what show. What were you on? Uh, Paxil. <gasps> that's what I'm on. It's nice. I do right? a nice uh, little Paxil at night. Yeah. And then I have a little Wellbutrin yeah. in the morning. Nice. And that's my little. Uh, and it works. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm afraid to get off because I have that clinical depression, which was horrible, right? No, it was fun. Who did it, girl? Did it, did it for Good time. Okay. So, for everyone, where can they reach you uh, online at Twitter, Tweetar, KateClinton.com. That's your it, the gateway in. KateClinton.com. And if you're listening, I'll be in Provincetown at the the uh, what is Crown it? and Anchor. Crown and Anchor, but most of all, Thanker. Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 7. I'm through Labor Day. And that's well, why that's we never me. see each other. Right, because I'm Thursday, Friday, Saturday at the Art House, uh, Thursday at 8, mm-hmm. and Friday and Saturday at 9. Yeah. I never want to go on at 7. Really? I mean, I used to go on at 7, but I didn't want to go on when you were on. Oh, okay. You know, 7 o'clock is great because everybody's know. sobered up yeah. from the beach, and then they're going to they're dinner going and getting Right, dinner. right, right. Well. And let me say how much I love you. Oh, it's true. It's thank true. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I have I a lot of respect and love for you. And, and I, I love your stage work. I thank totally you. do. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. You know I did Shakespeare in the Park. I do. True. That's why I'm wearing my shoe shirt. Of course I do. Um, Kate, uh, you kind of want don't want to be on the road anymore. I don't, I'm not going to do three cities in Ohio on a weekend anymore. Yeah, me too. I cannot do it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's too much. It's too and much. and with your hotel etiquette, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little dicey. But you are beloved, and your vlogs, are. they can get them at kclinton.com. Yep. yep. And um, do you have any questions, ladies? Milagros, are you going to be fantasizing yeah, about you? Kate? All the time. Yes. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> uh, did you go to confession? Like you know, oh, where, that's a good uh, one, Milagros. Did you? you think? Did you do confession? Did you? Were you yeah, right? I, I had to sit there and think I about. Know. You know, um, I was like, we, I said bad curse words, yeah, three times, yeah. and you know, maybe four, you know, like yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. See, and still having to read. Here's my what last. To say. My last confession was I was traveling and I was flying somewhere. My mother was worried that there would be a plane crash and I would be killed and I would go to hell because of my sins, that I needed to go to confession because I hadn't gone. So I, my mother, I went to church with my mother on a Saturday afternoon. Uh-huh. Went, uh, she sat there. I went into the confessional and I, the door opened and I said to the priest, I don't believe this. I don't believe in this at all, but my mother is worried that I'm going to take a flight and if something happens and I haven't confessed my sins, that I will go to hell. I don't believe that at all. So can I just sit here for a mi- few more minutes? What did he say? Go right ahead. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know why Jews don't have confession? Wow. Why? why? Because there's nothing to confess. Because your parents, your mother is always telling you, You did this! <laughs> you did that! <laughs> You're the worst! That's why we don't have to go. Because we're already told what a piece yeah, yeah. of shit we are. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I sat here while you were... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, but I God. did go yeah. all the time. And, and then you was... have to like count the number of Hail Marys you'd yeah. have to say. Isn't it so OCD? I and think then, religion and then is so OCD. Well, my brother would be confessing. Again. Yeah, my brother would confess to masturbation. Right. And then they would get, for your penance, five ejaculations. And they'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> 
and then they would go back again yeah. the next afternoon. Do you think the priest jerked off when they had young boys in the... Oh, I mean, I... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. I went there. Yeah, I went there. Okay. I did. Okay. I fucked everything up. No, no, no. Yeah, right. Right. We'll Kate, that. I can't thank you enough. Elisa, anything else? Um, no, this is wonderful. Thank this you for being such a wonderful co host You're great. Kate. Thank you, Kate. 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 I love you so much. Thank you all for listening to Kill Me Now. Kate Clinton... Uh, is the best. And Kate, I just want you to know, I don't know what kind of underwear you wear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Mac Weldon, Mac yeah. Weldon, mm-hmm. uh, dot com, mm-hmm. uh, has the best underwear and t-shirts and they're made with silver, I like think- real silver. So you don't, doesn't smell. And the, 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 they never roll up their, is this sponsoring? You? Yeah. Okay. And they never roll up their, um, uh, welcome sign. No, the, the fabric is never in a in a circular rolled up uh-huh. because they always have it flat mm-hmm. so that it's always, it's not like, it's just the best underwear and socks. And they make those socks that you can hide in your shoe. Oh. Um, anyway, if you go on MacWeldon.com you, and you do use the um, code KILLME, mm-hmm. you get 20% off. Will they like, be for being on the podcast? Will there be gifts coming in the mail from Mac Weldon? Do you want me to get Mac Welton gifts for you? Black. I only wear black. Underwear? Yeah. I'm going to start wearing like those boy girl underwears. Okay. Let me know. Because I like those. Okay. Let me know. But I have uh, Mac Welton socks. I have. I sleep in a Mac Welton boxer shorts. Mm-hmm. And they're fucking great. Okay. Mm. And the kids yeah, try that. Yes. Mm-hmm. MacWelton.com. 20% off if you do. Kill me. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good Thank to you. Know. Thank you. I like that one. <laughs> Listen, I can't you got thank enough. you enough. And um, we love you. And from Mrs. Hardigan. <laughs> thank you for incredible research. Vod, they, they, Vod, Vod, like Vod. Oh, that's what I just say that. Yeah. Irvishi, they, my whole family called her. Oh, my God. One day my was when we were first together, my father called Irvishi Earth Shoe. <laughs> Right. Uh-huh. Uh, meantime, my little nieces, who are two, are like Irvishy. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Dad's course. like, Earth Shoe? Earth Shoe. Earth shoe. Um, thank you so much, You're Kate. Welcome, honey. And yes. um, I wish you only the best and thank you for all the work that you continue to do and being brilliant. And, and you. we love you. And so long! <laughs> Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. How to get 30, 30, bit to get 30, bit to get 20, 20, 20, bit to get 20, 20, bit to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month? So Give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 upfront payment equivalent to $15 per month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Taxes and fees extra. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes in detail.